Did you know that the dead leaves you can find all over the ground hide some really strange creatures? This might be one of the strangest arachnids on the planet, and if you live in the right area, odds are it's lurking literally beneath your feet. All around us, bizarre little creatures are living out their lives. In your garden, under the grass you walk on, and pretty much in every nook and cranny outside your door. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and it's my mission to uncover the secrets of this parallel world, and today, we're after a very peculiar one. I feature a lot of spiders here on the channel, but they're not the only arachnids we share our planet with. Scorpions, harvestmen, and other weird creatures also inhabit many areas, and the creature we're after today is in its own group. The short-tailed whip scorpion belongs to a group called Schizomyta, and they are an extremely secretive group of arachnids we actually know very little about. My friend Mikey Green, a fellow wildlife educator and insect researcher, actually came across a population of them while studying an undescribed species of ants at his local park. So I'm joining up with him in the hopes of getting one of these bizarre whip scorpions up close for the camera. We have these contrasting white surfaces here. What we're gonna do is just take handfuls of this moist, especially the more moist under part of this leaf litter, spread it on top of the white tray. We're not panning for gold, but we are panning for scorpions. The white background of this tray is perfect for spotting some of the unusual creatures that call a leaf litter home, and Mikey's spot didn't disappoint. It wasn't long before I saw a very odd looking animal crawl out from the substrate on my tray. What I've got right here in this tray is probably one of the strangest little arachnids you've ever seen. This is a short-tailed whip scorpion, or if you want to use a uh, scientific word that's a little bit less of a mouthful, schizomyta. And they are a really strange creature because they're not scorpions and they're not spiders either. They're their own group. And they're a really strange, obscure creature that we actually, to this day, don't know that much about. They've actually been labeled as something that we need experts to be studying to unlock the secrets of their biology. Now, what little we do know is they're hanging out basically in the top layer of substrate in these more tropical environments. It's not something that you're gonna just randomly see in your home. They pretty much stick to these moist, decaying mats of leaf litter, detritus, and soil. And they're gonna be hunting all kinds of little soft-bodied invertebrates that are feeding on that detritus layer. Right in the front of his face there, those front two legs have actually been modified to act sort of as antennae. So he has basically six walking legs and then two antennae form legs that are the way that this creature interacts with the world. What's funny about that is they actually don't have eyes. Some species have like slight light receptors in the front of their head, but most of them are actually totally blind. It's amazing to watch this little animal walk around the tray here, probing about with those front two legs picking up scents, chemical trails, and even like tactile information, which helps him understand his world. You know, if you imagine yourself for a second in the world of the Schizomyta, you know, this is something that the experience that it is to be is so drastically different than it is to be a human that it's hard to even fathom what the world looks like or feels like and probably smells like to this bizarre little creature. You look at it, you think, Spencer, it just looks like a tiny little spider. Well. You're right, because like I said before, this is an arachnid. It has eight legs and two main body segments, but it kind of functions almost like an ant or something because it has six main walking legs, and those two antennae form legs are like the antennae of an insect. And with the place where it lives, it can sometimes be competing with lots of different ants for resources. A lot of different uh, small invertebrates they'd be eating would be shared prey. But uh, these guys are doing just fine in here, and they are oh so strange to look at look at you buddy well if i just like meanders around now they're, they're not super fast normally but if they get disturbed they can dart once i figured out what section of substrate he was in i kind of took most of the other stuff out so i could keep an eye on him while i'm presenting here this is actually something i've been wanting to see for a very long time ever since i heard of its existence because we see a lot of spiders here on the channel but you know, a lot of these other weird arachnids and strange arthropods have a special place in my heart as well, because I just, I'm so fascinated by these alien creatures that literally live alongside us. Like if you're in a tropical environment, there's a solid chance that in the leaf litter of your backyard, this creature or one of its close relatives could be 
hunting around for little springtails, symphylins, and other weird, bizarre things that live just below the surface. I never pass up a chance to see an awesome subterranean creature, and one as bizarre as this is definitely, as small and simple as it is, a huge draw for me here in Florida. What an insane little creature. With time, we will learn more about its biology and uncover its well-hidden secrets. But for now, I'm gonna let it disappear back into its secret world. Arachnids may be one of the most feared groups of animals on the planet, but I find them extremely fascinating, especially the weirder, more obscure ones that we don't usually get to see on a daily basis. If you want to venture deeper into the world of odd arachnids, there's another much more common creepy creature that might be lurking under rocks and logs near you, the ornate harvestman. Check out this video right here to learn more about this crazy looking thing, and until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.